Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos, episode of City Skylines, where we are playing a master plan city called Exact Bay. Um, just started looking at this now, and uh, it seems like we've got a pretty big demand for industrial. So what I'm going to do in today's episode, I'm actually going to expand our industrial area along here. We've got a we've got our industrial area starting point over here. We've got our basic utilities over here. Um, we've got the oil industry over here, and we've got the rail line over here. So this area and it's alongside the um, the highway, which is a little bit less desirable than many other spots um, in this city. So this is kind of the area where we're going to start filling in more industrial. We're just going to go with generic industrial at the moment. And what we're going to do is just going to try and lay this area out so that it makes sense from a traffic point of view. Um, so we had these, the kind of arterial, the main arterial that runs into the city that's kind of spurring off into this direction to feed some other areas over here. Um, and we kind of needed something along along this side um, because we can't have everybody feeding off of the highway. Uh, we probably will do another interchange or something maybe somewhere over here to allow access to this area. Um, but but we also needed to kind of just get off of the um, primary arterial over here. I decided to go with the road that doesn't actually have the median divide or the median um, openings so that we can actually do and um, try and get this traffic to flow a little bit better. We won't be zoning directly on this road just to make sure that our traffic on this uh, corridor uh, keeps flowing. That's kind of the way that we want to uh, be doing this. <clears throat> also, this is just a T-junction so that the, uh, the amount of um <clears throat> the amount of phases in the in the road network is, uh, is 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 better okay we don't want to get too close to here because i think i do want to keep expanding my um i want to keep expanding my uh my, my my kind of city utilities over here as well so we'll see about expanding into this direction over here um and we probably will do another road on the other side over here and then just make sure that we don't actually allow the um, the turns that we are talking about there. So let's get uh, well. Let's get it get it run straight off of this section. I think that is probably pretty good. So we're going to run a pretty straight section through there. Uh, what we'll do is we will run it a little bit like that. And I think that's about that's about good enough over there. We may look into some. No, that's not good enough. Uh, we may look into some one-way roads as well. Uh, let me just quickly open up the traffic manager and just make sure that we um, we don't allow the movements that um, that we shouldn't be allowing over here. So no straight through, only like that. Yeah, perfect. That's fine. Uh, let's have a quick look at what our situation is there. That's pretty good. So now you'll be able to get in here and you won't be able to cross to the other side. So that's kind of good. <clears throat> now we just need to see so we will probably um, do some uh, some mid block intersections maybe somewhere over here something like that um, at, at, well at, at certain areas we will be doing those those um, those standard intersections as well so let's uh, continue this one and I'm gonna go pretty straight through there and now yeah we can see where we're actually transitioning from the one to the other now what I want to do is I want to make sure that we do sizable roads, but not not massive roads um, at, at that intersection point, basically. So let's do let's start off with something like this. Uh, we'll do it somewhere over there. Um, we'll run it straight in and out like that. So that's going to be a primary access point. Um, this road will be able to tie in straight into there. Uh, we'll probably cross the rail again with this road um, and then we'll, we'll need to see how we tie into this. Okay, that's, that's okay. So if we say, well, let's extend the rail and the question where this time we're just going to keep the rail where it is. <coughs> Excuse me. We're just going to keep the rail um, the way it is over here. No, that's not quite right. This is the one I'm after. We're just going to do that, um, and this time what we'll do is we will bridge this with a <clears throat> with a pretty with a pretty small kind of bridge. So how much time room do we have? Okay, so we've got about ten. So we need to go up to I'm thinking at least six. I think that would be 
no, six is not going to work. We're going to need to go up to nine. So let's go back. So it's going to be a pretty steep road to get us up to nine at around, well, actually. We're crossing it and then we'll go back down like that. So there's a quick rail crossing over there and it is clipping, but that is about the right height that you need to get the train underneath there. So other than cars, the train is pretty, pretty standard. You don't have to worry about heights of trains and things like that. So that's okay. Then what we'll do is we will run um, this one straight into there so that you can actually get into this area. Now I'm tempted to do a bit of a one way loop and things like that and potentially have another um, access point over here somewhere. Um, something like that. Okay, so let's do some one-way roads. Get ourselves something like that. And we'll run us up to say something like so. And what I'll do is I'll just get a get a little a little short piece. Um, let's do something kind of central for this. Yeah, that's about the right. We'll do something like that and we'll do another access point there. Um, at the same time, I probably need us to do a bit of a, a bit of a cul-de-sac section right over there, just to make sure we fill in most of that. Okay, let's uh, let's grab. Okay, let's before we start cleaning up a lot of stuff. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to feed in and out of this also, and then we're going to want to fill in the rest of this area. Okay, so let's quickly see how we're going to do that. So let's just get this. Uh, we probably need to fill it in all the way from there, is what I'm thinking. Um, so how would we do this? Are we going to do just the one lane or... Hmm. Actually, you know what? We'll do a bit of a road um, somewhere central. So if we say, going to do something like that, uh, maybe a little closer, yeah, something like that. So if we do that, then from this point on, this is pretty close actually. Okay, hang on, let's um, let's pull this back. Uh, well, you don't want it too close to that side either. Let's let's pull it back a little bit. So let's do something like this. Okay, so it's not too close to that intersection. Then what we'll do is we will kind of turn it in. That's not quite what I wanted. Uh, something like that. Now we'll we'll come and turn this in at some point okay and then from here um what i'll do is i'll upgrade or get the road back to do a bit of a standard size so that we can get a easier a easier tie-in over here so let's do it up to there and then we'll grab our highway pieces and um let me just uh give ourselves a little bit of room here something like that and Okay, we need to switch on Anarchy over here and we'll do a little something like this. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll have to clean this up a little bit. Maybe a little bit far away that I'm kind of tempted to just go run it straight in there. Okay, so let's just do that stuff. So that we'll start cleaning that up a little bit. Okay, so there we go. So now we've got some movements over here um, to provide that access point. Um, do we run both sides though from here I'm kind of tempted to do it okay let's just grab our standard standard roads and we will actually we need this one okay something like that not quite straight but oof, yeah no not straight not straight at all Okay, let's just try that one more time. Maybe from this side. Okay, we'll, what we'll do is we will tweak that a little bit. Uh, and this one is much shorter though. We'll see. Yeah, that, that actually looks much better. We'll have to tweak this a little bit. Okay, I'm not going to tweak it now. I'll tweak it later. Okay, now let's uh, keep running some stuff. Okay, so if we run this one straight through there... Um, do we have to provide an extra access point? I think we do. I think we do have to provide an extra access point. Something like that. Um, that's okay. And what we'll do is we'll make sure that this doesn't do the th uh, what we're 
expecting to be problematic. Uh, we'll get some one-way roads and we'll run another bit of a one-way loop um, in this area. Something something like that, maybe. Okay, okay, that's a bit of a good starting point, I think, for an industrial area. Um, what I want to do is make sure that we um, get the basic road network right. Okay, we will probably have to tweak it a little bit uh, to get it to, to work properly. Um, let's leave a little bit more room there. Something like that, maybe. Yeah, okay, perfect. So there we go. So that's going to be our our network with a nice big arterial sized road that's running in, in the middle there. Um, we should probably do a bit of a cul-de-sac right over here as well. Industrial cul-de-sac would be a little bit larger. We'll see about how we how we how we treat those. Okay, that's pretty good. That is not a it's a fairly interesting network. I would think and um, yeah it actually works fairly well this piece however it could better be better to the other side anyway let's get our um, pipes going oh we actually have some pipes we'll just keep running that one straight through there and what we'll do is we'll keep running that one straight straight through here we want it pretty straight that's pretty good uh, we probably need to run one more alongside this road over here excellent and what we'll do is we'll tie that in over there hopefully that works uh power is here so we just need to make sure that we get the power in a bit of a better spot so let's uh let's lay this out i am tempted to keep a little bit clear on that section and what we're going to do is we are intending to run um our industrial area like that that's an interesting little slither that's problematic over there this is one way so we'll just fill that one in completely uh, this is one way so we'll fill this one in completely and that's how we're going to basically make a start uh, let's do that i'm going to do it up to uh, we don't want it on that road so we're going to do it up to say there we need to do that cul-de-sac and this side we can actually just fill in all the way but we're not going to do it on this road because we don't want anything on that directly same over here i don't think we want it on there so we'll we'll just leave that as is for now i think that's going to be a good starting point for our industrial pieces and is this going to stay chester industrial maybe maybe not we'll think about that a little bit okay so at this point in time we probably will need some extra pieces what i'm thinking is let's do a bit of a on this section right over here i'm wondering whether we need to do a little bit of a, a commercial area so I'm pretty keen on maybe something like this. We do some commercial over here and some commercial on the back here. And we, while we won't go straight onto that, that section there, I think some commercial over here, um, just in the middle section, like so, does make a little bit of sense. So people can actually access on there. There's this row is wide enough. Uh, we'll do the commercial stretch up to there. So that's kind of what we're going to do with commercial. And that will be the transition into some industrial pieces. I'm almost tempted to do a little bit of office in here as well. Uh, or we just keep that for utilities. Probably that's the right thing to do. Just keep some of this room for utilities. I did want to buffer it a little bit. But a bit of a commercial hub in this spot right over here is not too bad. Um... But I am wondering a little bit whether we actually just transition a little bit of office in here. Just something like that. We just transition a little bit of office in there with the commercial. Maybe a little bit more commercial. But then apart from that, we are looking at at, uh, at doing at doing the uh, the industrial. Yeah, that's, these are right in, right out. So we can quite easily do do that piece uh, shall we do it on here as well maybe that's a good idea okay there we go that's our our piece so let's get it up and running and moving so we can see what's happening as the as the, as the guys move in here and what's happening with this road network oh what i didn't do is i forgot i didn't do actually do this piece so let's make sure to to allow only the movements we want that's fine you can go there go straight through you can go straight through there. That's pretty good. Okay, now over here. Come on. Don't want you to turn in there. Like so. We do the same thing over here. 
in and that way and over there this one just straight through and this one we only want to go that way and then let's get our, ourselves some movement action here perfect so that's gonna work now I need to tweak this a little bit we are getting trucks doing funky things over here so maybe let's work on that cul-de-sac oh I did I actually I did do some of this so let's quickly get that cul-de-sac going on uh, how did we do it over here I just want to double check how we did this so we just did this smaller road and then we did some maneuvers like this okay let's uh, I actually could just copy it all right I could just copy it no let's just make a new one make some new ones so let me grab the very small roads and then what we do is we just do um, Do a little something like that. I can I can tweak it a little bit. Let's do another one on this side. Um, this side is going to be a little tighter, I think. Uh, yeah, that's going to be. That's actually that works much better. But we'll we'll tweak it a little bit. Okay, let's get the move it. Let's keep things running and let's get the move it tool um, while we just. Um, Kind of just tweak things a little bit over here. That's pretty good. I'm going to not worry too much more than that. Um, this one over here. What we want to do is we want to create um, a pretty straight section like that. And we'll do a little bit of this. That's a pretty decent cul-de-sac over there as well. Okay, get rid of that. Um, I wanted to tweak this a little bit. We are getting our power in here so yes that is starting to work um, I'm tempted to get a bit of an interchange going on over here to kind of feed this area and feed into this side we do need uh, appropriate access points for our network so a lot of stuff happening out of there uh, we probably need uh, let's quickly have a look there was what kind of services did we have we had the mail the mail services and we do run pretty decent mail service from there what I'll do is I'll I'll place another one kind of central over here somewhere just to make sure ooh, it's moved just to make sure we we have some main mail service running over here as well uh, let's do it over here like that yeah so that we have some mail distribution over here as well. Perfect. So we are seeing a bit of movement going on over here. Let's just hope that it makes uh, makes sense um, in terms of traffic flow. So as this fills in, we'll keep an eye on that. We have seen a fairly substantial drop over here. We have a little bit of in probably what, what we call like industrial office. Maybe not a bank, but maybe um, that's pretty good. Some some areas over here. Excellent. So that filling in is doing it's a, doing a great job. Um, the next thing that we are going to need to do is probably start looking at um, the public transport connection over here. So let's have a look and see um, what's going on in terms of the rail. We've got the rail running over there. Um, the t oh, well, that's just all public transport. So we don't have we've got a tram network running in this direction. We actually don't have a tram running in this direction either, but what I'm tempted on doing is actually running a bit of a good tram system that at least just makes a stop somewhere over here. Uh, we just don't have a, an appropriate turnaround facility for this just yet. So maybe we'll do, we won't do the tram just yet, but we definitely need to do. Um, I'm thinking I'm, I'm very tempted to do a proper rail service over here. So let's have a look in terms of rail stations. I want something that is fairly simple a simple train station that is the right one um, if we do something that's fairly simple we can probably squeeze it in over here somewhere so that we have a little bit of a rail connection that can run in from the city to here to feed all of this and at the same time we can then do a bit of a bus station that then runs um, <clears throat> a loop or something over here as well um, so that's tempting that is tempting if we do something like 
something fairly central like this, we should have enough room to get back to wherever we want to go. What other options do we have? A city station. Um, what is this? This is pretty cool. And we can even run the double. We could even run the double like this, but that is um, probably a little bit of overkill over here. Well, we can always change it. I think that's that's a good idea. If we use that one, we can change it later. We don't want a freight terminal. We've got a freight terminal pretty close by. So let's do this one straight on here. Okay, like that. Nice, that's decent. Okay, so this will be our station. The issue that we're going to have is coming out of there, but we do want to get it to go back in or under through there. We'll see. We'll see. So that's going to be a pretty tight one for us. At the same time, what we're going to do, and actually in this exact spot, we're probably going to leave that area open for a bit of commercial. And we'll just do low density in that very spot over there. Okay, now let's, um, let's grab the rail line. And what we want to do is we want to not do that. Uh, okay, so when we are saying, hang on, I want to do this, I want to do that one, and let's make sure that we place that um, down like so. I think something like this could be sensible. Uh, just get up there again. We'll see now about how that looks and feels. Um, and then the similarly, I'm thinking, well, let's do something like that at least okay so that does seem to make a fair bit of sense to do that and on this side how does that look um it's too high so if i go and say move it and we kind of start paging that down that is looking much nicer into that area over there perfect nice so that's kind of seems to be working if we do something like this yeah i like that I like that that's okay um, so now we've got a, a rail station over here that can offer services ah and what we didn't do is actually place the bus station so let's let's grab a bit of a bus station I want something fairly simple though well let's do uh, we don't want it we, we, we I think we're gonna have to have it kind of central um, so if we do something like that Yeah, that's that's probably about right. Um, of, of those that's underneath it will will clear out. Um, okay, power. How is power going to make a jump over here? We probably need one of these underground pieces. Kind of something like this, maybe. Yeah, that's perfect. So now we've got power connected. Nice. Now what we can do is we can get our first rail um, passenger rail service, and it's just going to be a single passenger rail service that operates from Central. Uh, and I'm gonna need to run it probably from here okay and we will run it hmm okay should I how do I I can just do a create a line from anyone and that definitely goes that way right so we can definitely do that so let's create a line there and then why are we getting external stuff stopping here that's not that's not good well let's uh, we can't start a line here that's not nice there's something wrong then well then I can't oh no this is a this is not oh this is <laughs> that's the wrong one can you believe it okay let's try this again start one over there and we bring it in and we bring it in over here okay and we'll return it back there there we go let's pause that um, <clears throat> yeah so what are we going to call this line we need to call it something let's call it the Chester line for now Oops, just the line. Um, we're gonna remove all the vehicles from it. We're gonna select the vehicle type. We just have passenger train, and we're gonna have one, one, one passenger train, and we'll say that's the Chester. Oops, the Chester line. Chester 
line thank you and let's create it's a color a little bit like a, a yellow kind of thing it's always red and green i find but uh it's the starting lines but let's do that perfecto so there we go so now we'll see the chester line starting to appear and run a service over here what i don't want is i don't want this to be grabbing allow intercity trains now intercity trains cannot come here so we're not going to allow intercity trains we're just going to allow this service to run there we go and now we can have uh, a service to the industrial area and that's pretty good we may look at some bus lanes or something but at the moment our traffic is working pretty well in this area it's a little bit more wanting to make this move now and that is getting pretty busy as well and this intersection may not work in the long term just because it's giving us some funny stuff going on over here if i say we do this what you don't want is we want to allow that movement straight through there yeah this is better uh but something is wrong why are we running uh, okay I, I have a look let's quickly have a look over here we're gonna want to do that and we're gonna want to do this and we're gonna not do that we're not gonna allow uh we probably can but it doesn't matter um so what i just want to do is just want to make sure that this operation is working now you see this is a problem why is this going straight through yeah so this is the thing if you do some funny stuff then this starts happening yeah and we'll, we will we'll have to rejig that entire thing to to make this thing work much better but yeah all of this is filling in and it's kind of working without too much problems i'm going to tweak this a little bit over here just to make sure we um we've got a pretty decent um movement in here yeah that's that's pretty good i like that uh just want to make sure that we are not allowing funny movements also so you're going that way and you're going this way and that's about it um, and at the same time i want to make sure that we are doing something like so and then that should be pretty good so we are actually getting getting some action over here what you can't what you don't seem to have is the ability to get back on the road from somewhere over here so what i'll do is i'll just provide that open i'll just provide that uh, that access point so if we do why is this not actually uh maybe just do something like that okay so now we should start seeing a bit of traffic that i'm wanting to try and come out of that um it's a pretty da dangerous maneuver to say the least so we'll do something like that what you would do in situations like that is you would actually just um close off close off that that lane won't have everybody running like so okay here we go we're going to start seeing cars actually trying to get out of here nice so that's now starting to work so that's a bit of a release of the pressure over here okay now we're starting to see lots and lots of traffic um this road we may you know what i may do over here is i might are they all just making the maneuver no they're not all making the maneuver some of them are so what i might do over here is i'll just do the upgrade to a slightly um busier or slightly more advanced road something like this so that we can get to the two lane turning maneuver to start happening um and what we'll do is we'll just create uh, just make a little bit of an adjustment over here to say that this one actually comes in here and that one does both um this one this one and that one at the same time what i'm going to want to do oh they actually back up straight into that but what i want to do is i want to make sure that um i want to hang on that's not what i want let's let's have a look here what i want to make sure we do is to say all of the other ones are kind of giving way to that one just so that we clear that as quickly as we can we get some u-turns going on over here as well anyway that's fine this is kind of working now we'll keep an eye on this intersection over there and i think the start of our industrial zone is pretty good we just need to make sure that we get some um some of this going on more recycling facilities basically um does the recycling facility create a bit of a 
Uh, is this the spot actually for something like that? No, not quite. Not quite, but what we can do is we can certainly do something over here maybe. There we go. Do another recycling facility right like that. Excellent. Nice. That's starting to look pretty good. Some more utilities over here to do the recycling for us. Um, the other thing, just as a closing piece here, let's just see about getting some clinics or something going on. So the hospital is actually connecting this area pretty well. Let's make sure to also allow some some services in the form of this death care we've got going on. So we'll get some death care services in this area. I think that's going to run most of the area pretty well. We'll do a little something like this over here also. So that should be good. Um, we definitely want ourselves a bit of a fire station. And I'm tempted to do something that is a little bit more sizable. Um, something like this maybe is not a bad idea. What we'll do is we'll just squeeze it in. Actually, we'll squeeze this one in on the main road. We'll squeeze that in on the main road. And yeah, that should be able to help us pretty good. So let's do that. We'll squeeze in a fire station on the main road there. So that they've got quick and easy access while everybody else struggles in the, in the traffic. Yeah, that's that's decent. I like that as an, as an option. Probably need to fill in some more of that area. So let's get a little bit more action over here. We fill in that. We will fill in some of that as well. Um, we probably can fill in some stuff over there also. Now, there we go. We've got the bus station in here as well, and that did clear up pretty nicely. Okay, there you go, guys. So that's our, our industrial area, the extension of Chester Industrial. Um, a nice big master plan section that we've added over here. Um, with, I think, appropriate movement capacity for all of our our traffic that wants to come through here as well as some public transport in the area and we still need to set up some bus lines um, which i'll do as i expand this side because this side can be get pretty interesting and i'm pretty keen on getting ourselves as an interchange over here somewhere so we'll have a look at that uh, probably in the next episode okay thank you so much for watching and uh, if you like this series please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already i uh, quite enjoy making this kind of content so if you do too please stay tuned okay bye bye